right. Vivek, as someone who I'm going to take equal time now, three points <laughs> I'm going to make. Number one, I'll uh, comment on the difference between Silicon Valley and here. Number two, I'll answer Mohan's question. Number three, I'm going to rip the shit out of all this deep tech nonsense. I mean, it's, I mean, you folks don't even know what deep tech is. Everyone keeps saying India can't do it, you need billions of dollars. No, you don't do it. India can do it. So let's start with number one. I live in Silicon Valley. In Menlo Park, I would go hiking in, uh, across the Route 280. And the moment I cross, uh, go one kilometer there, my internet stops working. There's no, there are no Wi-Fi towers. There's no internet access there. Where I live in Belmont right now, I've been dying to get fiber optic things. I can get something close to a gigabyte. Uh, can't get it. Okay. I mean, you, you go around, it's, uh, you, and then you go shopping, and they want credit cards. No digital currency, no digital anything. Here, everywhere you go, even beggars are, are taking QR codes. And, and, and they, you know, that's literally what happened to me last trip over here. That this guy came up to me, he says, you know, I, I forgot what his words were. He wanted to say, I said, I'm sorry, I don't have any cash. I didn't have any cash. He says, QR code, Lelo. I mean, so, you know, Silicon Valley, we can't even dream about anything like that. We have these old-fashioned credit cards. I have to have credit cards with me wherever I go. That's how primitive we are over there. And here people complain about the quality of their geo service. It's slow. My God, it's, to me, it's lightning fast here. I can't believe how well, you have, everywhere I go, I have internet access. It costs nothing. I mean, over there, my uh, T-Mobile plan, if I exceed you know, so much uh, a month, I start getting all these bills and warnings. And you know, uh, it, it costs a fortune to get uh, a basic cell phone plan. Here, you get it for free, and you're complaining. All right? So, don't, uh, you know, think, don't get over the inferiority complex. You are much better off than Silicon Valley as far as digital infrastructure goes. Number two, uh, Silicon Valley hiring versus, uh, uh, you know, um, India. Uh, you know, when I uh, started Vionics, I was looking at uh, starting in a Silicon Valley. So I went to the VCs. I talked about that in my talk yesterday. And it was, they were really, literally, when I mentioned I, I'm going to do my R&D in India, they were rolling their eyes. You're going to do machine learning, AI in India? What an idiot. And then when I talked about wanting to offer uh, diagnostics for 100 rupees to uh, uh, the poor in India, it was like, why do, you give, why do you care about India? Why do you care about the poor? You can charge $1,000 a test here. And you know, they, so that's the attitude over there. Now, and then even here, Chris Kupala Krishnan, I respect him immensely, okay? He's one of the greatest uh, entrepreneurs in the world, not only in India. But he said that, Vivek, you're going to have a hard time finding machine learning talent here. This is a, a, sh a, a deficiency that we have in India. Complete BS, my friend Chris. You, you, I, I've been <laughs> able to find better ML talent in India than I could find in Silicon Valley because I started interviewing graduates from Berkeley, from Stanford. First of all, the arrogance level of these graduates is off the charts. You know, they want to know what perks you have. I mean, if, you, okay, if, you, if I'm working from home, what can I do? I mean, they want if they you can get free food delivery at home. They're more concerned about their perks. Starting salaries out of Stanford, $180,000, $200,000. One graduate wanted $250,000 starting salary uh, just because he had a Stanford degree. I mean, it's just sort of ridiculous. I came over here. I happened to, uh, this is about a year and a half ago, and I met one of my uh, relatives who was graduating from Guru Gobind Singh College. And I said, what sort of salary are you looking for? Uh, he, he, I think he said, five to seven lakhs. I said, I thought, okay, five to seven lakhs a month. Well, you know, that's not bad. <laughs> it, was, it was a year. A year. Okay? So these uh, kids, IT I mean, companies, by the way, still pay three, three, three and a half lakh per year. Mr. Pai will. <laughs> I, I couldn't <laughs> believe how low the salaries were. And within three or four, so we hired a bunch of interns and, uh, and ML developers. Within three or four months, they're at par with the best in Silicon Valley. So AI yes. talent in India is on par. Yeah, no, the, the problem was that they didn't know how to use cloud computing. There were a few things missing from the curriculum over here because the schools still aren't up to date with you know, the reality of the startup world. But the fact is I could hire talent for one twentieth of the cost of Silicon Valley without the attitudes. And also, you know, all of the, uh, the, the hires, I said, well, how, how, how much do you, how, what do you expect your workload to be every uh, week? How, much, how hard do you expect to work? Uh, you know, in Silicon Valley, they, they want 35 hours, and if they work more than that, it becomes a problem. These kids were saying, well, you know, Narayan Murthy, this is when Narayan Murthy had <laughs> made this statement about 70 hours a week. He said, he's inspiring us to work 70 hours a week. So I said, are you going to work 70 hours a week? Yes, sir. I mean, I was, I was shocked. So rather than, you know, them wanting perks and 28-hour work weeks, we're talking about kids getting practically nothing 
wanting to work 70 hour work weeks. Right. So that's a big difference in hiring and culture. On the other point about deep tech, let's defer that so you can ask more questions, but we should talk about deep tech because I don't think these people know what they're talking about. I've done deep tech. I, if you go back, if you haven't seen my talk, go and watch the video of it on YouTube. I talked about building the deepest tech possible in India. Within nine months, IIT Madras made, made breakthroughs that Silicon Valley has not been able to make in decades. I mean, in medical diagnostics, Theranos, go and read about Elizabeth Holmes and the $1.4 billion these idiots, the Silicon Valley investors poured into it only to get fraud out of it. What I'm doing is 10x more ambitious than what Elizabeth right. Holmes did. We'll and we did it for practically nothing. Right.